Good evening. Um, so tonight, to end my second long day at work, I'm going to take a look at Ballast Point Brewing Company's Mocha Marlin. So it's a porter with coffee, chocolate, and natural flavors. Whatever that means. Um, um, English porter, hint of vanilla smoothness. Um, pretty much porter is one of my most favorite beers. Um, um, beer styles um, and I really like vanilla porters um, vanilla grand cru also which is kind of, this is kind of the season for that so I'm looking forward to that um, okay beautiful dark beer all right um, Mm. I love the smell of porter. It's so deeply roasty. Um, it's pretty heady. Like the head seems to be very thick. I'm not getting a lot of aroma. Um, Anyway, lots of deep roastiness. I can get a little bit of chocolate out of this. Not a lot. Maybe some vanilla, but not a lot necessarily. Um, nice maltiness. Um, deeply roasted grains. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Uh, so appearance-wise, black, 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 no light coming through this. Um, Port heady looks like it's going to dissipate. Um, I forgot to see how much... What's going on here? So 6% alcohol by volume. Um, let's enjoy this. I feel like I haven't had a porter in a long time. And that was a really, really good drink of beer. Um, I really like Ballast Point beers because they're interesting. I've tried, um, I don't think I tried the habanero one that they have out necessarily, but maybe. You know, but Grapefruit um, Sculpin, um, there's another Marlin version. Anyway, these very interesting, very, um, what's the word? Um, Intensely flavored beers, you know, so the IPAs are extreme IPAs. Uh, oh, grapefruit, scope, and then so there's a regular one, habanero. Anyway, um, uh, and the, the flavors are incredibly bold and amazing. And I think that that lies true here with this beer. Um, you know, porters are very um, robust, uh, very deeply roasty, um, you know, border on acrid um, French roast coffee flavors. Um, and, um, you know, give very little in the way of hops. Um, and to me, always kind of, porter specifically has what I, I call a dusty flavor to it. Um, and I say that in a loving way. Like I said, it's one of my favorite styles of beer. Um, you know, but it has like this, like, depth of flavor, this, this really interesting complexity. And then, um, I think you add in chocolate and coffee. Um, you know, chocolate, if it's bittersweet, can, um, you know, definitely pairs nicely with the, with the, the roasty French roast coffeeness that's going on. Coffee, again, does that as well. Um, and this particular beer has a lot of coffee flavor in it. As a matter of fact, I would even classify it more as a coffee beer than as a, a chocolate or a mocha beer. Um, anyway, very, very delicious beer. Um, very, very, very grateful that I have this beer right now. I don't know that it pairs well with my sandwich, um, but whatevs. I'm going to eat that anyway. Um, so delicious beer, lots of big flavor going on. Like I said, we've been seeing that out of Ballast Point, so it's, you know, um, to style as far as what I've seen from them so far, great, uh, a great porter, um, you know, and deeply roasty, toasty 
French roast coffee, um, bittersweet chocolate. Um, I'm sure there's hints of vanilla in there, but it's really mixed in with all these other really strong flavors. Um, so 6%, is that what I said? 6% alcohol by volume. Um, and um, just another great beer by Ballast Point. Um, I would like to know if this is a beer that you've tried. Share with me um, your thoughts on it. Uh, I'd like to hear that. And um, also, if you have any good porters that you recommend that I can get here on the East Coast, where am I? Oh my god, that I can get here on the West Coast. In the East Bay on the West Coast. Um, because um, I like porters a lot. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good night.